welcome everybody to Sunday Sauce Pot. All right, guys. So we've been all over Chicago land, and now we got a, a great show, another great show for you. Pasta. What person doesn't like pasta? Tony, welcome to Sunday Sauce Pot. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. All right. So what can we expect to uh, experience here today? Where are we? We are in the Pasta Fresher Company in Chicago, Illinois. We've been making pasta for less than 33 years. Today we will show you how to make parpadelle. How okay. do you make what? Parpadelle pasta. Okay. Parpadelle pasta, it's a little bit bigger than fettuccine. Uh, it's a real popular pasta uh, where it's made with semolina, uh, durum flowers, and a touch of fresh, fresh eggs. Okay. So what's your, what's your personal favorite kind of pasta? My favorite pasta is linguine. Linguine is because you can make it with seafood. Yeah. And my, favorite, my favorite dish is linguine with the seafood. My ex-wife. That's one of my favorite. My ex-wife, she used to make the linguine with the white clam sauce. Yes, that's one of my favorite also. Uh, yes. All right, so let's get into it. Let's show it. Let's go ahead. This is the mixer where we mix all the uh, semolina, the durian flowers, and, and like I said before, a touch of eggs. And um, from here, we will make in the fresh pasta. Uh, we can do parpadella, like I said before, we can do fettuccine, we can do spaghetti, we can do linguine. And what is this machine called, Tony? This is the, what they call the mixer. The mixer. The mixer, yes. All That's right. What the mixer. Okay. okay. So from here. Uh, step one. From here. Who do we have helping us here, Tony? Giorgio. George has been uh, with uh, us for less than uh, 20, uh, 24 years. Very nice. So from here, it goes into the uh, pasta sheets. So that this. And what is this machine called? The, uh, the pasta sheets. From here, we can make lasagna, we can make ravioli, we can make tortellini. do you make in a day? About 300 pounds a day. 300 pounds of pasta? Yes. machine called? This machine is called the um, fettuccine uh, machine. But this would do all the long pasta. Oh, it cuts itself. Look what a beautiful pasta. Can you adjust that to make it thinner or thicker? We have to change the dice. So each, each dice, every time we cut different pasta, we change the dice. This is what we call the parpadelle. What do you call that, Tony? Parpadelle. All right. Okay. So from here, we put the pasta into those uh, Boxes, and we deliver fresh to the restaurant, and of course to the local people that come in and buy pasta.
pasta, you know, it's healthy, it's tasty, and, 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 and expensive. You know, with a pound of pasta, you can feed four people. Well, so, so I got a question for you, Tony. Yes. A lot of people think that the Chinese invented spaghetti. Who, who invented spaghetti? I think the Italian, if you ask me. <laughs> Lazy Mary, you better get up, she answered back, I am not able Lazy Mary, you better get up, we need the sheets for the table Lazy Mary, you smoke in bed, there's only one man you should marry My advice for you would be just to pay attention to me You better marry familiar with the rotolo, this is the rotolo primavera. We do tomato pasta, spinach pasta, we will show you that we will do right now, and the egg pasta. And then we start with the fresh tomato, This is the, the, the finished product. This is the rotolo primavera. It's a pasta roll. It's um, we got three layers of pasta. We have the spinach pasta, the tomato pasta, and the egg pasta. And we fill with the fresh ricotta, the spinach, mozzarella cheese, and romano cheese. Then we cut them. So this is the Rotolo Primavera, sliced up. It's very delicious, very filling. You take one or two, put the sauce of your choice on top, and there's your meal. All right, Tony, thanks for having us here today and, and showing us all around all the different kinds of pasta. And what, what did we experience here today? How many different types of pasta did we make today? Oh, Dishes, to oh, oh, everything. Today, uh, fresh pasta we made, of course, we. We didn't mention that we also make a tortellini, we didn't mention we make a ravioli, we make a different variety of ravioli, lobster, spinach and cheese, and uh, artichoke and vegetable ravioli. Uh, today we made about, uh, I would say, 10 different type of pasta. Yes. Okay. But and we have much more. And now the, the spaghetti yes. that we made, uh, the spinach, I'm sorry, the spinach pasta yes. and the tomato pasta is less fattening than normal pasta or no? Pasta is not fattening. Pasta, A lot of people think it well, is. Pasta in, you know, in Italian culture, pasta and a, a tomato sauce, a fresh tomato sauce and a Romano cheese, that's, that's it. You will not put butter, you know, because that's what makes fattening. So if you really, if you really uh, think about pasta, how it's made, it's not fattening. We use semolina, we use durum flowers, and a touch of eggs. That's it. And it's good for you. It's good, it's tasty, and it's healthy. And, and it also is not expensive. It's inexpensive. And that's, that's why all the older Italians used to feed their, their big families with pasta. Exactly. Well, for the Italian family, pa pasta, it's, I got to have at least three times a week. Yeah. I cannot do without a pasta less than three times a week. All right, guys, so from Pasta Fresh here on Harlem Avenue, this is Marty the Paisan and Tony wishing everybody all the best. Thank you so much, Tony. Thank you, thank you. Make sure you follow Sunday Sauce Pot 
on YouTube and Facebook. We got a lot of great shows for you guys. Really appreciate you tuning in and watching. Thanks a lot, guys. As always, who loves you, baby?